first cast, small, small fish. Not a bad sign. How's it going, guys? We're out here. It is Labor Day. We're out here fishing. Got off work a little bit earlier. Decided to come out and see if I can't catch some fish up the gravel. Um, there's a big charity tournament going on this weekend. And if you guys don't have anything Saturday, it comes out of PB2. Um, I'd look it up. Or I, I U O E charity tournament. That's what it is. And uh, that's a good event. And I've got anglers in action, uh, division shootout on Sunday. So I'm out here trying to figure out a small bite and see what can happen. Uh, let's get back to catch some fish. guy on the salvation <laughs> all right so I've gotten on a pretty good pattern it's definitely a worm pattern and it was red shad I was throwing a red shad power worm for a while and that was what they wanted and here's another one right here oh, I was playing with it but um it was a red shad power worm and what I noticed was I was going through my worms and I've ended up pulling out one of these with all kinds of red in it. Normally red shad's got a mix of black and red, mostly black. So I figured they're keying in on a darker color because I tied this one on, or I put this one on, and my bite just went completely away. So I wasn't catching any more fish. So I thought, well, let's go to something a little bit more black. So I went to Tequila Sunrise. And it's got a little more black and a little bit lighter tint of red. It's more of a purple color. And uh, my bite picked back up again. I've had several bites. They're not quite eating it, so I, I have a feeling they're just slapping at it. It's not the color they're really, really keying in on. So I'm gonna have to get some more red shed uh, power worms in the boat. That's the last one I have. And uh, let's just get at it and see if we can't catch some more fish. Looks like uh, sun's setting. We got about another hour to fish. So let's get back to it. Time to go guys, it's raining. 